You... Why don't you inflict some harm on him? No, I can't. His goodness and virtue has been recognized by the Supreme God, hmm. and he's going to receive a prominent position in the future. How can I harm him? Hmm. After hearing this, Mr. Ying became even more diligent in practicing kindness and accumulating merit. Whenever there was a famine, he would use his own money to buy food for the poor and the needy. And he was always eager to help those in emergencies. When things did not go his way, he always reflected within himself rather than complain of the outside world. Even today, his descendants are still very prominent. Another example is Kung Si Tu, who lived in Chaxing County, Chekiang Province. Mr. Tu used to work in the courthouse and would spend nights in the prison cells talking with the inmates. Whenever he found anyone to be innocent, he would write a classified report to the judge informing him of innocent cases. The judge would then question the prisoners accordingly and clear the case. Through Mr. Tu's efforts, more than ten innocent people were released, and all of them were extremely grateful to him. Soon after, Mr. Tu also made a report to the Emperor, recommending that investigators be sent to check the prisons for innocent people every five years, and that the sentences could be reduced or cancelled in order to prevent the innocent from remaining in prison. The Emperor agreed to Mr. Tu's suggestion, and he was chosen as one of the special agents in charge of reducing sentences for those who might be innocent. One night, Mr. Tu dreamed of a deity who told him, you are not supposed to deserve a son in this life, but this act of reducing prison sentences for innocent people is in line with the wishes of heaven. You will be bestowed with three sons, and they will all attain high positions. Soon after that, his wife gave birth to three healthy sons, Ying Xun, Ying Kun, Ying Chin, who all became senior government officials. Another example of attaining good outcomes from practicing kindness is someone who is a distant family of our Yuan clan. Is it so? Who is he then? He is Ping Bao, who lived in Chaxing. Ping was the youngest of the seven sons of the magistrate of Qizhou, Anhui province. He was sought into marriage by the Yuan family at Pinghu County. Ping Bao was very knowledgeable and talented, but he was never able to pass the exams. Once, while traveling on one of his many journeys,